Hi there. Uh, I made a little uh, fourth language, uh, the language fourth, uh, Game Boy Advance uh, interactive uh, programming environment, and I want to show it off a bit. Uh, so I uh, hope you like it. Um, so for this demo, uh, the, on the hardware side, we have a Game Boy Advance, we have a computer, we have a USB to UART serial cable, which on the back is Frankenstein on a Game Boy Advance uh, serial cable. And uh, on the software side, uh, we've got a shell script uh, in Python, uh, which uses uh, uh, PySerial. Uh, this script uh, will uh, talk to uh, the Game Boy Advance. And then we have our Emacs environment, uh, our Emacs uh, text editor, uh, which has a mode called fourth mode, not written by me, uh, which, uh, uh, which does nice interactive things like loading uh, regions and files uh, into uh, the SCD in of this process, which then will go there. Let's try to demonstrate that. Um, so here I have uh, basically the uh, the standard demo of uh, uh, Panda 4, which is the fourth uh, made for Game Boy uh, Advance that I'm using. And let's try to load this in the Game Boy Advance by first starting up the Game Boy Advance. Bling. Nice, that worked. And then uh, doing a four float file over there, pressing enter and praying. That seemed to have worked. Then uh, going to a file that will show more interesting things. Again, four float file. And yay, it shows little balls here up on the screen. Nice. That works. Um, what I would like to show now is uh, show the REPL uh, as soon as this demo has stopped through its cycles. Um, so an interactive uh, uh, print uh, evaluate read loop, I forgot the, uh, the acronym. Um, so what you can do is, uh, for example, one one plus. Uh, and when you enter that, uh, it has put the value on the top of the stack. If you type a period, uh, you will pop it off the stack and you will uh, print it. It is two if you can read it. Yay, that works. Um, you can do more interesting things, of course. So for example, five, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so that is the start of uh, backgrounds pal mem. So we can do make that a constant. Uh, mem pal background, for example, and we made a, a little mistake because this should first go into hex mode. Uh, so normally it will read stuff in decimal. Uh, by default, if you put it into hex mode, it will interpret numbers as hex. And luckily, this has a, a history of what you've been typing. Uh, so we do that, and then we can store a value there. Let's do that seven. So this is white. Let's uh, put in the um, the memory location, and let's save them there. And ooh, the screen turns to white. Uh, that is nice. I'm happy. Um, you, I'll show you a little bit more. So over here, uh, I've already loaded some assets in here, uh, preferably like in a later, at a later time, you should just be able to do this uh, uh, loading into here dynamically, either through forth or directly, writing directly into memory, um, bypassing forth. Um, so here we have uh, some 
tile data and we have some pal data and uh, we can go ahead and uh, and load that in so what you can do is you can evaluate a region within the buffer uh, and uh, throw it to over here bam so those dots that you saw earlier they are now uh, little heads with uh, weird colors so this is the normal color over here um, cool and um, you can do more fancy things uh, so for example if I ah and I know what this why this went wrong so really I should have gone back to decimal mistakes were made so I guess yeah that worked so this one changed to the right color which is what I wanted I ex explicitly didn't want to change the uh, the um, the pal data of that one um, and so if we load the whole buffer uh, so we can also redefine uh, four functions if we want to uh, so the previous uh, uh, demo was also called demo and so go ahead and load that file so now we have loaded that like this one automatically jumps here to the uh, to the REPL if we type demo oh nice Cake. we all of a sudden have four of them bouncing around uh, yay party uh, so I think that's it um, I hope you like it uh, there's a github repo uh, that should be in the comments of this when I upload this to YouTube um, so if you want to check it out or, uh, uh, or work on it that would be great okay cool bye